is Stephanie and we're here with Rachel Mortson who did the nails for the December cover. Rachel won the 2007 Nail Pro Cup this year. Congratulations. Thank you. It's very exciting. As part of winning the Nail Pro Cup, one of the prizes is to create the nails for the cover. We were thinking of doing an opal style nail and presented it to Rachel and what did you come up with? I love color so much and so when I thought of opals, I thought of, you know, the blue opal and the colors that come out there I thought would just be so um, beautiful on the cover rather than just white. You said there's a special technique that you use to apply the forms to create stiletto nails. Basically when you're um, putting on a form and you're sculpting out your square nail or your round nail, you generally leave the end of the form with a a round, rounded on the top. Mm -hmm. And so with a stiletto style nail, you really want to come in and pinch the end of the form to a point. Mm -hmm. And also when you're doing that, you kind of pinch underneath a little bit and that already helps put your shape on the form, which makes it easier for you to lay out your product and get your shape in the nail without a lot of filing afterwards. I mixed some clear with glitter mm -hmm. and I built out my um, free edge okay. to the point and then I mixed a pearlized white in with some glitter and then I made my nail bed. We talked about having maybe an icy kind of snowy effect to them so what did you do to create that effect? The icy effect I think is where I added in the glitter mm -hmm. to help uh, give that type of a look and then to keep in cool colors with the blue and then the opal effect with the um, blue mylar and the crushed shells. And so after those were set, that's when you went in with the crushed mylar? Yes, I went in with the mylar and in picking up mylar, usually you pick up with clear. Mm -hmm. Well, because we wanted this opaly effect, I mixed a special glitter with clear and I used that glitter clear to pick up the mylar and lay that and then on top of that I went back in with the same clear glitter and picked up the shells and laid that over the mylar. Mm -hmm. After you did the shells and the mylar on the nail plate then you went into the free edge. Yes, on the free edge I added on one side some glass uh, bead per that looks like pearls mm -hmm. and then that's where I added my snowflake. Nice. And then encased the whole the whole nail in clear. clear. So how did you finish the nail? I chose to use my electric file this was because it gets really clean around the cuticle area. So I use my electric slide oil, which is made for the electric file. And that helps to um, keep the nails and the skin looking really nice. And then it also helps cushion the cuticle area from the electric file and helps minimize any heat. What I did was after I filed on the top, the surface area, I used my electric file to come up under the sides to remove any thin pieces of clear. Mm -hmm. After that I did go back with my hand file just for some detailing mm -hmm. and then I buffed also with my electric file and my oil to help get a smooth finish. And then top coat? Yes, then I used a UV top coat to help bring out the colors of the mylar and the shells. They look really cool, like icicles, very wintry and frosty, it's awesome. Thank you. And the color is beautiful. You did a lot of competitions this year. What's the difference in doing competition nails and cover nails? Well, with the cover nails, you had a little more freedom to use your imagination, play, and just have fun. Now that you won the Nail Pro Cup, what do you plan to do next year? Well, my goal is to continue educating, train new educators, maybe some new competitors. I don't really plan on competing unless the opportunity comes up. I was sick enough to look over to see what the schedule is going to be for next year. <laughs> <laughs> so you never know. Awesome. We'll see. Any tips for other competitors out there? So my advice to any new competitors would be to take the time and take some of the Nail Pro competition classes. They really benefit knowing all the rules and are there to answer any question that you may have about competing. Good luck to all you competitors next year, Nail Pro Cup 2008. Can't wait. Congratulations once again, and thank you so much for coming here and doing the nails. They're just fabulous, and we're so lucky to have you. <laughs> thank you.